Hi, this is week two, and we have uh, we are go week two, second part of the lesson. Uh, and in first part, we talked talk, talked about uh, minimum distance, how to measure similarity between words, uh, and in this way, in this part, we will discuss language modeling, which is a very important topic of uh, very important topic of uh, natural language processing. And it is used almost in every uh, type of tasks. Uh, so let's see what does it say. Uh, probabilistic language models. Uh, today's goal assign a probability to a sentence. So what does it mean? Uh, for example, in machine translation. Uh, so actually, it means that uh, probabilistic language model means that how do you uh, measure if this sentence or f tokens uh, words how they are uh, possible that they occur together or actually they occur in language so for example it can be used in machine uh, translation so saying the probability of sentence so how possibly this sentence can be in this language so as you see the for example high white winds tonight and large winds tonight uh, so what does it mean so uh, it means that for example you have uh, so this word is actually uh, more possible like in russian uh, высокий or длинный so if you are uh, using it regarding the person so the word высокий can be for person but for example you cannot use длинный человек because it, it means something different or or it actually it does mean something because it's not used mostly of course uh, but of course you can use but it will be less likely to be used so we can use it in machine translation so for example you translate the sentence and you have two possible words and you can say oh okay this part is most probable so th that means that this part this must be used spell correction again same so the office is about 15 minutes from my house uh, it's actually we understand that about 15 minutes is more possible than minutes minutes it I think it's from uh, dancing uh, so so you see that this word is actually exist in dictionary and by using this uh, logic you can find this one uh, speech recognition also so why we can use it so these words I saw a one I saw of n I saw of an n I saw when n I saw a when I saw a when uh, maybe I pronounce it differently but actually they uh, they can be uh, confused between each other so uh, for example your algorithm may rep say that okay there there are these two variants and you can apply uh, language model and to find out which of them is more uh, proper summarization question answering and etc so today's thing is probabilistic language model uh, it's actually probability uh, also there is there are neural models uh, which we will learn later so they are l more likely to be correct but this one is something like this so for example this w is uh, is sentence and uh, we say that how uh, how possible that this v1 word 1 word 2 word 3 word 4 word 5 word and uh, they how possibly they can uh, the, how these words can possibly in this uh, language can be so related task probability of an upcoming word also there can be uh, we can relate this task so for example we have four words and what is the possibility that fifth word will be this one like in this previous example five 15 minutes so 15 can be minutes 15 or not uh, how it's possible or how it is possible that after 15 we have minutes a model that compute either of this uh, probability of sentence of probability or word n after previous words is called language model so these two things are called language models okay let us go here maybe something like this 
model that computes uh, either of case is called language model better the grammar so we can also tell this is grammar how to compute to compute the joint probability so for example we have this sentence its water is so transparent that uh, and uh, the task is how to find this probability we can use chain rule uh, from probability you may uh, remember so it is something like this we can say that b given a so this means if uh, we know that a exists so there is a uh, what is the probability of b and it is only multiplied by uh, probability of a b staying together divided by probability of a uh, occurrence of a so we can rewrite it so uh, actually we are searching for this how possible that two words can occur together uh, and we multiply it by uh, probability of A and then multiply how possible that B uh, is go goes after A. If there are more variables, we can use something like this. Please uh, try to recap these things. Uh, so this is very easy. And this is like simplification. So if for this uh, example, we can say that its water is so transparent we say that okay uh, we say beginning from start we say the probability of its and then we say uh, probability of other uh, goes after its then we say probability of is is going after its water probability of so its water is so actually we started with this example like we want to find this one this or probability we try to simplify by using chain rule and now it, it became something like this the probability of its, probability of what its, etc. The next one, uh, so actually this is, we can use something like this. Uh, we can say that how possible that there is goes after this, its water is so transparent that. We can say count is water is so transparent that there so we accu we uh, we have very big data amount of data in uh, text and we have this uh, we can count how many occurrences of these things and we can divide to occurrence of this one uh, the problem with this is, is this one too many possible sentences we'll never see enough data for estimating this so we cannot create we cannot find all of this data so to solve this problem as we said this cannot be used because it is uh, we cannot take such data for each type of sentence but we can simplify it's called Markov assumption we can say that that uh, okay let's say that we, let's not let's not consider this part it's what is transparent that that Let's consider only this part, only last word. So let's say that there, after its water is so transparent, that is actually there which is going the transparent that, or this one. So uh, we can understand that this part is actually like uh, which of them is more better for language modeling. Uh, this one because it stores much more information that because words can have relations to words that are mm, far from them for example this one sometimes may not work but this one is of course uh, for this type of probabilities we can find as much as, as needed uh, probabilities this is much rarer and we have to store much more data and this will be much uh, harder to do Uh, simplest case unigram model uh, unigram model is the probability we we just multiply probabilities of each word so I have word so hello world so we take probability of hello and probability of world we do not consider the connection between them so this is the sentence which we can generate from this work uh, bigram model it says that uh, we take 
we take into consideration only previous work. So this one, Texaco Rose 1 in this issue is pursuing growth in a boiler house said Mr. Gorilla, Mexico's motion and etc. So what does it mean? We, uh, this is uh, uh, generated, generated uh, sentence from this type of thing. Uh, we write, for example, it randomly generates Texaco, gen then it looks at Texaco and finds the most probable word, it's rows, and then it finds rows, and then after rows, it finds some most probable words, it's for example, rows 1, one in this issue is pursuing growth, so in this case, it's it becomes more uh, understandable. Engram models, Engram models, so this was Unigram model, this means that you uh, you store only uh, does the word occur or not whereas bigram stores the word and the previous word and but in n-gram models which is for example it's like a complex name for example three grams three grams means that it stores word and two previous words so by two previous words you can generate third word you can find most suitable third word so uh, the more point is that language often have long language dependencies so you using these long language dependencies you can find the words so this is uh, generated by this one but we can often get away with engram models so this is how it works. So for example, you want to uh, find the probability of VI given VI minus one. So for example, you want to define 15 minutes or 15 minutes. So this one is, for example, you say that count how many times 15 minutes come together in uh, text. You actually count the word. And then you count how many times 15 accurate in sentences so so for example you have 15 days 15 minutes you count all 15s and then it's good uh, so this is the the probabilities you say that I given s this is means start so how many times in the start of document we have this i so actually we have something that list so it means that two there are three times sentence starting and two times it is i so it means that two times of three it is i so for example how many times sam goes after starting from three times it's one so saying for example sam m you say you search for M one two two times and one of them is Sam so one over two do I and etc uh, so this is the or examples in Berkeley restaurant project sentences row bigram cons so for example this was uh, from this out of two nine thousand mm, sentences and as you see that you have uh, for example this all zeros never won't come after won't never to come after I or for example never Chinese come after two and etc so okay this one first word never Chinese and after this two never Chinese after this eat but it can come af after it we can see Chinese so eat Chinese food most probably so this is like uh, bigram counts, counts and we can use it uh, to take these probabilities we can uh, collect how many times we have i how many times we want in this whole sentence and then divide it by these numbers 5 divided by uh, this number and we have these numbers so for example if you have i want english food so you calculate 
uh, how many times i begins with s, how many times want begins with uh, comes after i, how many times English comes after want, how many times food comes after English, and how many times uh, end of sentence comes after food, and you got this uh, probability. Uh, what you can do with this probability, you can compare it with other uh, sentences. So actually, you can see. Uh, we do practical issues, so if you want to implement this, the main point is uh, avoiding underflow. Why? Because if you multiply these numbers, in like here, probabilities, probabilities, most cases, especially in natural language processing, they will be numbers like something like this. It said so many numbers like this, and when you multiply them, uh, actually computers uh, will go and will not uh, cannot store these numbers. Uh, so, in this case, you should use this log logarithm. Uh, why logarithm? Because uh, actually, in most cases, language model is about comparing. You you take one language model and second language model and compare which of them is. Uh, better or not and by that you can make decisions so uh, we see that underflow problem so you have numbers very little than zero and you multiply them and if you know mathematics you know that you when you multiply many numbers which have many numbers after zero they will become like uh, they will grow geometrically so for example it will be like 20 20 points after zero so computers cannot store this kind of numbers. So to store this problem, we are doing something like this. Instead of multiplying number, we can actually take log and plus them. So there, this is same. So after that, we can compare two methods. So this log p1, you plus. So in log, you get num different numbers, like uh, which is most because it's probability you'll get. Uh, minus negative numbers but because you add them adding is faster than multiplying you save time also it will not go under flow because adding never go under flow because it's the it's it occurs when you have multiplications language model toolkits uh, so Google actually release it this type all data from internet and they process it this time this amount of number words and this amount of five word sequences at least 40 times so for example they have something like this surf as the incoming comes 92 surf as the incubator 99 surf is the independent and etc etc so we can uh, store them